Hi everyone and welcome back to my life. My name is Marguerite and today I will take you along with me to feed 50 calves in winter. So we get up quite early around 5.30 to 6 o'clock and of course start with coffee. I live in South Africa hence the prominent accent. So it was very cold this morning, we had frost. We don't get snow here but we did have snow on the mountain. So here we're quickly filling out a few feeding bags to give the cows after they had their milk. This is Lua, our staffy. She was also getting quite cold. We buy apple cider in bulk and we bottle it into smaller bottles so it's easier to use. We always make sure to have apple cider. It is a natural dewormer and also helps with scours. So in other words, when they have a runny tummy. And then we also give apple cider to the calves that's already weaned. We put it in their water. So it's quite involved mixing the milk. So yeah, I'm just quickly putting the apple cider in before we start mixing. So we use a gas geyser to heat up the water, which works really well. The first two thirds of the water, we set the geyser at 50 to 55 degrees, and then we add the milk, which we mix for at least three minutes. So we then add the last third of the water, which we set at a lower temperature, so that the milk is between 38 and 43 degrees, and then it's ready for the calves. We also add diatomaceous earth to the milk, which helps for several things, but mostly gut health. So sometimes when we have an ill calf or a calf that just looks a little bit off, we give them with the bottle to make sure they get their full portion of milk. So when raising calves, hygiene is extremely important. So every time after a feeding session, we clean and sterilize all the bottles, drums and teeth ready for the next feeding session. And now we're all feeding the calf. So the whole process of mixing, feeding and cleaning takes us at least two hours. So when new cows arrive, they're generally a week old and then we feed them three times a day and increase their milk intake until they have two litres twice a day and then we wean them between two to three months. So this is the first group to get their milk. So we lead them out of their little paddock, we keep them at night to a grass pasture that we let them graze on the day. So Manu is walking in front with the drum which we put the milk in and I'm coming from behind because as you can see they are quite tamed. So this group is the eldest of the lot that is still getting milk. So we give them milk out here and then just leave them until they're finished and while they're busy we start feeding all the others. So this morning the cow's water was frozen and people in other countries might be used to this cold weather but I'm a typical South African and when there's a cloud in front of the sun I get cold. So this morning I was freezing. So here is the second lot getting fed and this is Boot, he loves to stand on the little stump on that side of the wall and then look at what we're doing. So after we gave the milk to all of the cows, we feed them 
and it's a special craft palette that we bought from our local Ugly. So this is the third and final group to get their milk. So we're also just taking them out of the evening paddock to a grazing pasture and we put the bucket of milk into the drum and put all the little pipes into the milk bucket and just make sure that they don't bump each other. it's time for the lot that is already weaned so we feed them some maintenance and concentrates before we let them out to go and graze for the day they are all between the age of six weeks to three months It rained quite a lot the last few days, so there's puddles everywhere. And now we're letting out all the cows. So we generally, we just take them to the open field because otherwise they will hang around their stall all day. So here's me and Bit at the back of them and herding them on. So all the calves are happy and our dogs are also enjoying the sun and having their play session. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you at the next video.